Hey everybody, Raid here, hope you're doing well and having a fantastic day. So, some brand new information came out regarding Funcom's upcoming Dune survival game that's not been officially announced yet, but it's been mentioned in many, many articles and now we know that a third studio has joined on the development of this game. So this is going to be a pretty big game, I mean at the moment or previously before this article it was of course Funcom that's working on this game and we know that German developer Nuclear also joined on the development of this game not too long ago. Well over the weekend it was revealed that Dutch studio Abstraction has also joined for technical and gameplay developments on this MMO survival game based on the Dune IP. So that is three pretty big studios working on this game. So this is going to be a pretty huge project of Funcom, probably their biggest game yet, much, much bigger than Conan Exiles. I mean, Conan Exiles is a MMO and this is titled as a survival action MMO inspired by Destiny, including uh, Division and a few other games. Not Destiny in the sense of a first person game. This is not going to be a first person game, but more in terms of a live service type game. So I do expect this game to have like your typical daily, weekly, monthly, that kind of objectives with your seasonal events and that kind of stuff. And this game will likely have a lot of DLC. But what I want to focus on is just the article itself because there is some information we can get from the article. Now, the link to this article is in the description below if you guys want to read for yourself. But the article starts, the collaboration between German developer Nuclear and Funcom on an upcoming open world multiplayer survival game based on the Dune IP now has another partner, Dutch developer Abstraction. Abstraction comes on board to work on engine level systems, rendering, platform support and other parts of development. Dune is in the works as the IP is enjoying new attention after the 2021 film's release and an upcoming second part to come. This should make things familiar enough to potential audiences and Funcom is ready. The original partnership with Nuclear was originally announced in December and is based on Funcom's 2019 deal to make a game with the Dune IP. Inspiration for this game will come from Conan Exiles and incorporate Funcom's expertise on a number of systems and previous multiplayer titles. Nuclear's experience with vehicular gameplay was also cited, giving us some potential insight on what to expect. Quote, quote, Abstraction coming on board is more of a technological support role, with some gameplay elements as well. In a release announcing the new partnership on Dune, Abstraction's role is described as while a large portion of the abstraction team focuses on engine work for optimized performance, various members have integrated into other existing teams working on the project within Funcom to help develop major features in this game. Other specific aspects of work on Dune include AI, audio, animation, and physics. End quote. With the announcements, Funcom seemed to have rounded out the path to development of the survival game. Funcom is keeping very busy with the Dune IP and many other IPs the company now controls. Dune Spice Wars is an upcoming RTS title in development and we already know some of the playable houses there, Artradius and Harkonnen, with early access planned. Funcom's Dune IP with Nuclear and Abstraction is still much more under wraps for now, though it seems like things are ready to move forward. Now the first thing that I want to focus on is kind of the release window. Now they officially haven't announced the release date, I mean they've officially not even announced the game yet, but I think they kind of accidentally gave away when we can expect this game. We know that the 2021 film of Dune is a part 1 and part 2 is scheduled to release around October 2023 and in the article it states quote this should make things familiar enough to potential audiences and Funcom is ready. Which, end quote, which I'm assuming, well I don't like assuming, but which I'm guessing is they mean that Funcom will likely have this game ready by the time part 2 of the Dune film launches. I mean it kind of would make sense. I initially thought that when Dune part 1 released back in October of 2021 that we would get some sort of tease of this game because it kind of makes sense, you know, you release a Dune game alongside a Dune film or you at least announce a Dune game alongside the Dune film to get 
how to build up as much hype as possible for your game. I mean, we saw the mistake that Square Enix made with their Marvel's Avenger online game. I mean, the game came out, I think, like a year after Endgame, which was kind of one of their biggest mistakes, because had they released the game around the time Endgame came out, Avengers Endgame, then the hype for that game would have been through the roof and people would have watched Endgame and then walk past the store they see this poster for Marvel's Avengers and they're like, oh, you know, I want to play, I just watched the Avengers movie, I want to play the Avengers game, let's go, go out and get it. And the fact that we essentially saw the Marvel's Avengers game only after Endgame is kind of, you know, that, that window of opportunity is kind of, it's not a window of opportunity anymore, it's out of the window, no pun intended. So, I th like I said, I thought they would have initially announced the game by some sort of tease, at least some sort of like, you know, cinematic or like a title screen or something around the release of the first film, but with the second part of the film releasing October 2023, we've seen that NVIDIA leak stating that Funcom is apparently releasing a Dune game around March of 2023, so I kinda expect them to maybe even put the game in early access much to what they did with Conan Exiles. Remember Conan Exiles was I believe in early access for I think 6 months to a year on PC before it was officially released. So maybe they're doing the same thing with this Dune property, they're going to release it in early access in March and then maybe six months later, a couple of months later, around the time of the fall, maybe it's going to be a full official release, releasing on consoles as well, because we don't really know the platform of this game, we know very little of this game, we don't know if you're going to be able to choose your house, likely you'll be able to choose your house, but we don't know in terms of, you know, is this going to be a story focused game or is it going to be more in line with Conan Exiles where you're just going to be thrown into this world and you're just going to have to explore and essentially survive because they do state that it's a multiplayer survival game based on the Dune IP. So we know that there's going to be a lot of survival elements much like Conan Exiles, so you're going to have to, you know, stay hydrated, you're probably going to have to eat, you're probably going to have to, you know, you're probably going to be on, on, on Arrakis and you're going to have to, um, find a way to survive at night and you know of course if you see the sandworm signs you know you're gonna have to run to the nearest cliff or whatever rock area or just you know try to survive in the desert and maybe maybe work your way maybe there's gonna be narrative elements that's gonna be specific to your character and you're gonna work your way through story-based cutscenes I do hope that there's gonna be a, a story-based element to this game because it's gonna be kind of a missed opportunity if there's not gonna be any story in this Dune IP because the potential is there for not only to expand on the movies, but to expand on the on the books as well. I mean, they could they could essentially release the game in March 2023, and um, if the movie comes out in October 2023, then around October they could potentially have an expansion that's focused around maybe the movie, or maybe they can have like a a free content um, update for the game around the movie. So. Essentially, you can have, uh, say, uh, uh, Duncan Idaho, even though you know he's he's only in the first part of the of the movie, but you can essentially have Duncan Idaho in the game. But the content update allows you to select him to look like Jason Momoa from the movie, or you can have a um, Paul Atreides skin for your character that looked like uh, Timothy Chalamet from a, from the movie. So you can have these characters from the movie that looks like the movie. I mean. You see game, there's even Fortnite skins of, of Dune, of the Dune movie, so it's going to be a missed opportunity if they don't include some of the familiar faces, again, no pun intended, from the movie into the game. So some of your characters in the game looks like the characters from the movie. I mean, it is, they, they do mention in some of the other articles when they speak about this Dune survival game, they do mention Legendary. So they are, like there is license agreements between that as well. So. I kind of do expect them to to kind of stay in line with with some of the stuff that's in the film maybe maybe the design of, of some of the vehicles like the ornithopters is going to be that from the film and not specifically that of their own interpretation of the ornithopters maybe even the worms is going to be similar to that that you see in the in the film and not so much just their own interpretation of of what a sandworm looks like um, but again the, the original license does state that Funcom has the right to produce three Dune games and we know that of course one of them is this Dune 
MMO survival game, and the second one is of course Dune Spice Wars, so we don't know what the third one is yet. It might be a first person, single player, narrative driven story, or like, you know, like, like a Dune game, or, or something with a really good story, or maybe even a third person action game that's very focused on story, that's single player only, like, you know, like Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, that game was phenomenal, that it, 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 it sell, sold very well, and, you know, um, it got incredible ratings, and there's a second one coming, I think, end of this year, or, or beginning next year, so, if they do, like, a third person action RPG that's single player only, that's focused on story, that's really, you know, they, they push what they can do for single player games, maybe that's a way where they can incorporate a lot of the movie stuff maybe you know you play alongside Paul or you maybe even play as Paul himself and then your character looks like the character from the film I don't know there's there's a lot of a lot of thoughts and ideas that Funcom can do with this but like I said the game has not even been officially announced yet I'm expecting some sort of official announcement around E3 I don't know what's happening with E3 this year you know, some talks are saying E3 is cancelled indefinitely, some saying that, you know, it's going to be online again. I don't really know, I haven't really looked into that, but if if around E3, you know, around the PC or the maybe the PC gaming show that's normally around June, July, around E3 time, maybe there they will have a trailer of some sort showing, maybe cinematic, maybe some showing, showing some sort of gameplay. Um, and then announcing this game, I, I don't know. We know that June Spice Wars is going to be in early access in a couple of months, and then the official final release of the game is going to be next year. But as for this Dune survival based game, I don't really know what's happening with that. But with three major studios working on this game, it's going to be a pretty, pretty big game. I won't be surprised if they're trying to combat, you know, some of the top MMOs out there like World of Warcraft. They want to take the market because there is space for that I mean with the whole Blizzard Activision thing you know people have jumped ship from World of Warcraft quite a bit uh, I know they jumped onto Final Fantasy but there is a lot of space for a game like this and if Funcom nails it at the right time and if they get it right then you know this game can be very very big for the company I think it's gonna be a very big game because people know Dune people like Dune people love the movie the Dune movie and people are very excited for Dune Part 2 so of course like I said if they release this game before the movie and do some sort of content update pack around the movie's time that incorporates a lot of the elements a lot of the actors and characters from the movie that you know that you see on screen into the game or maybe even you know a free to play weekend or something to that extent there's a lot they can do but there is potential for this game and I'm really excited to see what Funcom is working on I mean like I said three studios a lot of work has been put into this game and I'm excited to see what this game is. But let me know your thoughts. I went on a tangent here and I spoke a lot about, not so much about the article, but I went on, on just my thoughts in general on this. But let me know in the comments below what you think of this Dune survival MMO. Do you think it's going to be um, the next big thing or do you think it's going to be more in line with Conan Exiles and it's going to be more for that kind of audience? Let me know in the comments below and for more Dune content, check out the rest of my channel and be sure to click the subscribe button if you are new to my channel. But if you enjoyed this video, then give me a thumbs up. If you dislike it, then give me a thumbs down. But please tell me why so I can improve my videos. My name is Frank, I'm the Red Side Guy, and frankly, thank you for watching. Catch you guys in the next video.